Hey guys, it's Relining and welcome back to another reading, reading, worry, mind fan fiction. So we should just get started. Chapter 7, A Meeting by Mistake, set during season 4, episodes 3 and 4. Me and Kai are in his office. I helped him with his paper, with paperwork during my free time. I actually been feeling unwell. I've been throwing up in the morning, but it's probably nothing. The Kronos comes in. Patron Kronos asks Kai. Airy, airy, she escapes the Kronos. Kai sighed and put put his mask on. I and got up. I'm coming too. I said, "Why, why are you grabbing my gu gun?" Are you sure? Said Kai. Yes. If we run into some heroes, or police, they will believe the couple looking for their missing daughter. I said. Very well, said Kai. We will. We left and looks walked around looking for Airy. We found her, and yes, she was with some disgusting heroes. You should be more careful. We don't want to cause trouble for the heroes said Kai to the heroes. To those heroes, I walked up and sat next to him and held his hand. Forgive our daughter, heroes. We, we don't know what to do with her. Always playing rough and always bumping into things, said Kai. The hero standing next, next, to, next to the hero wearing green put on his put his mask back on. Oopsie daisies, looks like your mask came off again. You might want to get it resized, my friend, said the, that hero. I was very suspicious of them. I'm so sorry. Sorry about that. It was our fault too, said the same hero. This hero was way too happy. I know that mask. You must be from the Hisai Kai, right? You guys are famous around here, said the hero again. Yeah, please don't mind the mask. It helps. It keeps out the filth. I don't believe I've seen you two in the area before, said Kai. Right, we're, we're still barely new. Are you already, you already probably guessed that, that much. Now on your feet, partner. You can't do much hearing from down there said to the hero again so what agency do you belong to ask kai that's a that's a good try to find out where they are from we're only students students way too far too low lowly to, to claim an agency we are just using our internships to get some experience if, speaking of which we need a finish for trolling this location by lunch come come on come Come on, let's go. I put one by accident. Ac accident. Let's go, said the hero. Right, said the hero near Airy. And Airy grabbed him. Please, please don't go, said Airy. Um, excuse me. I'm sorry, but your daughter seems scared, said, said the hero holding Airy. A reaction to being scolded. Sure, said the hero who was, who was talking to us before. Wait, but she got bandages all over this. Or, or the, the, are those, those j are from just playing rough, said the hero holding Airy. Airy's a very clumsy girl, said Kai. Does that seem it like it's normal to you? Said hero holding Airy. It's dangerous to make assertions about what's normal about other people, said Kai. Yeah, everybody's different, am I right? Said the hero. Tell me what you're doing to this girl, said the hero holding Airy. I was about to take out my gun, but Kai motioned me to stop by pretending to take some dust off. Oh, my eyes getting watery. You heroes really know how to pick up sudden less things, don't you? Very well. The situation is embarrassing, so I prefer to discuss it where we won't be overheard, said Kai. We began to walk away. It's hard to admit you can't control your own ch child, but lately, Eri defies me no matter what I try, said Kai. Parenting man, sounds rough. It can't be easy, said the hero. This is getting very suspicious. I wish we can we can just shoot them and get Eri. Yes, children are tricky, but determined to do whatever they want, said Kai. Then Kai was about to about to take off his glove. But sometimes they just don't listen, said Kai while looking at Airy Airy er, at the eye. And Airy pushed herself off the hero and ran back to us. Oh oh good, done with your temper tantrum, said Kai. It's good to see you behave, sweetness, I said. So Airy, um Airy, are you sure? Said, said the hero who was holding her. She's always like this. Sorry to get involved. Sorry to involve you in our family drama. I'm sure you have better things to, to be doing. Good luck with your internships, said Kai. Once we were far away, Chrono, Chronos, Chronos came out of hiding and carried Airy. That was a close one, Kai. I said. Kai sighed. Yes, it was, said Kai. Went back to his office and finished off the paperwork. And Kai went back to the experience. This was a very stressful day. And a very why you want it 
There you go. Chapter 8. A new partnership. Set during season 4 of the fight. The day before, Shigaraki called to ask to speak with Kai. Before Chrono le left to get Shigaraki, I pulled him aside. Chrono, I need you to do me a favor. What is it, Mindo? Uh, said, said Chrono. I need you to pick me up a pregnancy test, I said. What? Why would I do? Said Chrono. I've been throwing up up in the mornings and I am two months late. I need to know, I said. Shigaraki came in and began to speak to Kai. Uh, wait, no, I messed up. Chrono nodded and left to get Shigaraki. Shigaraki came into the room and began to speak to Kai, pretending that I wasn't there. Good, good, because I refused to be near the man. He's, he's still disgusting as I remember. You had me walking around in circles for 30 minutes. I'm not an ant. It's all the Hisaki strongholds like this, asked Shigaraki. We don't know who might be watching us or from where where and not a, not all our guests have the best intentions so we have a number of routes leading here an underground recession room where we can recently use our we recently sure of our privacy answer kai ever wonder why we survived survive so long it's because of, of little details like that anyway that anyway down to business did you really mean what you said on the phone the other day that you joined us uh, join us under the right conditions, said Mimic. Don't start celebrating just yet. You guys want to capitalize on our reputation. We want to increase our strengths. We need, we need to have our needs to happen to con 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 at the moment. Said Shigaraki. Put your foot down the table. Said Shigaraki. Why are putting his foot down on the table? Put your foot down. The table will get dirty. Said Kai. No, please. You really mind. You really mind your manners. I don't appreciate appreciate disrespect. Now we won't put ourselves up. Put, we won't be putting ourselves under you. We'll still be calling calling our own shots. Got it? Either it's a joint partnership, or I walk out the door. Say Shigaraki. So those are the conditions. Conditions. So Kai. Oh, one more thing. This grand plan you mentioned. I want to know the details. It's a re reasonable request. I need to decide it's worth lending you our name, you see, said Shigaraki. Then Shigaraki was about to pull something out of his pocket. I took out my gun and Chrono and Chrono and Mimic took activated took out his and Mimic activated his quirk. Hands where I can see them. Stop acting like you're in charge here. Here said Chronos. Yeah, who do you the hell you think think you are? Why you little punk? said Mimic. Who do you think you are? One of your disposable thugs against our... Who's I say? Right? The scales are far from even that. Let's not forget Compress's arm. We set things in return and from what we lost. That's the Shigaraki Chrono Mimic Ori. Stand down. Down, said Kai. They put our weapons away. He came all this way to make his offer. At least we can do is hear the guy out. By all means, continue for Kai. Like I said before, before your friends got jumpy, I want details. We can start like this, said Shigaraki. Then Shigaraki took out the bullets, <laughs> bullets from one of our members, shot, shot the one of the members of, shot at one of the members of the league. It's part of the plan, right? Said Shigaraki. Then Shigaraki looked at me. And I want to know why you left the league without any words, said Shigaraki. I sighed. I left because of all for one, I s said. You feared him? You feared him? I asked, asked Shigaraki. No, I feared his feared his quirk. I was afraid he was going to give me a quirk, and I hated that face. It was always filthy. I said, you two are made for each other. And yes, I knew about your relationship. Then when I saw you holding two holding hands when you left the league hideout, said Shigaraki. I left the room. And Kai told him about the plan. I hope this doesn't this doesn't mess things up. That is all for today. I hope you enjoyed the story and you will be seeing and if you want to continue reading it for yourself, you can find the link to the fanfiction in the description below. But that's all. All for today. Today and you will be seeing some words in three, two, one.